for more than 30 million Africans are living abroad and they play an important role as a source of financing and foreign exchange for African households. What Remit is an online money transfer service that provides international remittance services to expatriates and migrant workers. It is part two of my conversation with Catherine Wines, co-founder of World Remit, about the service the company provides and how it ensures the system is not abused. Obviously, you've got limits based on kind of regulatory you know, environment. So, for example, uh, the operators um, like Mempesa impose $750 per transaction for international remittance. So, you're there, you'll see this not a very large amount. Um, so, we will impose limits as well on the send side, and some governments would also impose. But it's, it's the, the monitoring which of the transaction. And it's not just amount, actually, it's, it can be a lot of amount or linked account and so on. And that's where technology can really use you be really helpful to to kind of, uh, give you this instant kind of, uh, uh, alert on things that before maybe are by you know the more traditional players are done manually uh, because mm -hmm. they haven't got that technology now without scaring off your customers the, is there like a monitoring of a trend I mean it could be that I could make sure I'm below the limit but I'm doing this every day or every other day and uh, in a month I might transfer a lot of money yeah well obviously you know the, if if you are doing, you know, cumulatively large amounts, you know, like any company, whether it's World Remit or any other company, banks or uh, other, you know, money transfer operators, you will ask questions and say, what is the purpose of the sending the amount? You, know, you are required by law to do that. So, you know, uh, the monitoring on transaction is done, you know, very similarly, and you know, the same questions are being asked. Additional information, uh, people will be asked to to, to provide that. So, uh, that that's very normal, and that's not, you know, where remit is not unusual in that. That's that's a kind of the law requires that. Mm -hmm. There have been a few cases where uh, people have actually intercepted. Uh, money that was uh, remitted uh, to to them or, or I mean to others and managed to steal that money uh, what are some of the safeguards to ensure that well, nobody can I get into the system if it's if you're talking about mobile money it's quite difficult unless you steal the mm -hmm. mobile with the sim card the sim card yeah. Uh, then uh, you know it, it's quite difficult to steal it because it's on the same and therefore as soon as you contact the uh, operator and there's plenty agent it's it's kind of uh, you know the, the the sim is put on hold and you can't use it so that to be frank mobile money is a lot factor a lot more secure from that mm -hmm. point of view than cash if you go and collect cash in uh, some places there's a risk that you're going to be actually you know kind of uh, someone is going to try to take it away from you so cash is a lot more dangerous than uh, than uh, mobile money and if you're looking you know coming back to the point of compliance with mobile money and especially on a digital solution like ours where you start digital and finish digital there's a full audit trail so you can follow the flow of the funds from start to end and what the funds are being used for mm -hmm. whereas if you have cash to cash then it's kind of uh, you know it's very difficult to follow and to have a proper audit trail is there anything that you would li like to say that I probably have uh, not asked you up to this yeah. point. I think what I'd like is to say is, is to say the positive side of mobile money because you know I've I've been in this industry of uh, money transfer for many years now, and uh, you know we we've, we've launched uh, international remittance to mobile money and seen the growth and the benefits and the benefits is you know for people as I said financial inclusion because people will you know in in Africa less than twenty percent of people have got a bank account. Mobile money has been able to include them. In to financial services and therefore access you know other services and also be able to set up business but for me as a woman what has been also very important is the fact that it's empowering a lot of women to be able to become independent financially and and that's uh, and i think mobile money has had a, a big role to play in that well catherine wines is the co-founder of world remit and online money transfer service